Fala pessoal, de boa, continuando a nossa gameplay do Final Fantasy XIV, de onde paramos. Se estiverem gostando do conteúdo do canal, convido vocês a deixar o like e se inscrever, pois é através desse gesto que a plataforma reconhece o nosso trabalho trazendo vídeos diariamente. E bom pessoal, estamos continuando a missão principal do game. No último a gente fez o recrutamento, todos os preparativos ali relacionados a esse novo grupo que a gente está fazendo parte agora. Então, essas missões aqui, elas são os detalhes finais Pra gente completar ali toda essa parte do nosso novo grupo E também vamos aí já aproveitar e iniciar as nossas futuras missões, né? Relacionadas aqui a todo o reino de Orelhos agora, beleza? Beleza, então nessa parte aqui a gente precisa entregar ali os uniformes, né, para os novos recrutas. São oito no total e estão espalhados aqui pela cidade. Eu vou dando breves cortes aqui pra gente economizar um pouco de tempo, tá? E vou deixando passar apenas as conversas com cada um deles, né? Porque a gente tem que fazer a caminhada ali e isso aí demora um pouco, querendo ou não, tem que dar uma volta na cidade aqui também. Depois de entregar ali todos os uniformes, a gente volta aqui para dentro da nossa base e continuamos a missão.
Comrades, your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you has made. With your strength now pledged to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. Let us mend this fractured realm and face our enemies as one. Whether it be the Beastmen and their primals, or the conflict in Cartano, it is plain that the nations of Eorzea cannot solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus does it fall to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed. Come, take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea, and together we shall fight for the freedom of all! A rousing speech, Alphano. Or should I say, crystal brave Commander Leverieux? Please, Antecedent. The title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Let us join hands and do what must be done to save this land. The Scions stand ready. Beleza, pelo jeito a missão encerra ali com a minha filha, vamos conversar com ela. I'm eager to see what the Crystal Braves might accomplish. This shall prove an interesting time indeed for the Scions. Yes, I'm listening. So our worst fears are confirmed. The entire Isle. Such power defies comprehension. Truly? Kryle is alive? Thank the Twelve. I see. Pray, inform me if her condition changes. Yes, I shall pass on your words to Arianger. My thanks. I shall contact you anon. When I learned of the loss of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. Putting this happy news to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. It appears the etheric disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? I wonder, have you heard aught from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Garleans? Then she speaks to neither one of us. Heidelin's silence portends not but ill, I fear. Louisois, I pray you yet watch over us. Beleza, então aqui a gente finaliza essa parte da missão. Vamos dizer que a gente já vê aí que a situação tá um pouco complicada mesmo, por causa que 
Não temos um contato faz um bom tempo com a Hayden. Então isso é um grande problema. Alguma coisa aconteceu. E aí a gente já viu que na cena ali mostrou que vai dar merda, né? O resumo da história, porque os Asian continuam trabalhando ali em segundo plano, sem ninguém saber deles. Então eu já vi pra que lado e qual vai ser o mapa que a bosta vai começar a dar agora. É a partir daquele lado lá mesmo dos dragões. Beleza, então a gente precisa conversar com o garoto aqui pra ver se ele precisa de ajuda em alguma situação aí também, né? Claro que pelo jeito ali ele já recusou alguns, mas deve ser algo bem importante aí, então acho que a gente vai conseguir ter um envolvimento nisso agora. to you, Sion. How might we serve you?
Commander Levayeur bade you serve us? These are welcome tidings indeed. Given the sensitive nature of the task, I could not rely on one of my own. That which I'm about to tell you, I tell you in the strictest confidence. Some days ago, we received certain documents from an anonymous source. They notified us of the presence of a Garlean agent within the ranks of one of the Grand Companies. Following some discreet inquiries, we identified a suspect among the Immortal Flames, whom we detained for questioning. Alas, the man was not our agent. He was but one of many men in the agent's employ. We pressed the traitor for a name, but he had none to give. He claims never to have met his master, whom he knows only as the Ivy. He was, however, certain that this Ivy had coiled itself around every part of the Immortal Flames. It would seem our quarry joined the company some time ago, and gradually recruited others to his cause. These conspirators are the vines by which he learns our secrets, all without exposing himself. It won't be easy to identify the ivy amidst this tangled mass of subterfuge, but we have a tendril in our hands, and we shall follow it all the way to the gnarled root. Now, much as I would prefer to proceed with due discretion, Circumstances demand that this matter be settled post-haste. Garlemald's war of succession nears its end, and it is feared that the Empire will soon resume its march on Eorzea. When it does, we can ill afford to have traitors in our midst. The ivy must be rooted out now. We must begin by apprising General Roban of our findings. I would ask that you accompany me to the Hall of Flames and remain on hand to see that things go smoothly. Assuming the Ivy's tendrils are as widespread as we believe, he will be aware that an investigation is underway. And if that is the case, he may well move against us. We must be prepared for anything, while taking care not to betray our purposes by seeming prepared. A simple enough task for a one-woman army like you. Precisamos ir para Uda conversar com o general, porque pelo jeito deu bosta lá também. Existe um traidor na cidade. brings you here, my friend. She is here at my behest. Greetings, Roban. It has been a while. Hilbert, you old scoundrel. When they told me you'd be visiting, I scarce believed my ears. But look at you! The honored captain of the Crystal Bloody Braves! Who'd have imagined, eh? Not many, but fewer still would have imagined your destiny lay in politics, old friend. Aye, we've both come far, have we not? Lest you wonder, Hilbert and I go back a long way. We've been friends and rivals since we were lads. 
The last time we saw each other, Alamigo had just fallen, so you can guess how many summers it's been. And in all that time, not a word from the fool! Ah, well, my dealings tended toward the modest and mundane, unlike some I could mention. As I hear it, no sooner did you reach Thanalan than the brass blades clapped you in irons and dragged you off to die on the blood sands. Being a stubborn sort, you won a thousand matches and earned yourself a place in the people's hearts while you were about it. Then, with your mountain of prize money, you bought the Colosseum and secured a seat on the Syndicate. Those balls, brother! Rags to riches does not do it justice. You're a hero to the common man! Pa, spare me. I am no hero. If anyone is worthy of that title, it's our friend here. Next to her, I'm little more than a glorified butcher. But you, Wilbert, you sell yourself short. By all accounts, you are an adventurer of some standing. I like to think that I did my part for the greater good. But if you're no hero, then I'm no adventurer, not in this company. Anyway... I have tidings. So there has been progress. I've let it be known that this meeting is a reunion between old friends. None will give your visit a second thought. To convene elsewhere would only attract attention. Let us speak here, in plain view of all. So it is we who have been compromised. To Legi Adelegi's machinations have shaken Uldar to her foundations. In such uncertain times, a man's loyalty may be bought for a fistful of gill. But if this snake has truly been in our midst for as long as you say, we must needs consider a far graver possibility. Conspiracy. Could it be that the Monetarists have been in league with the Empire from the first? Very well. I will have my most trusted men investigate the matter. Continue your inquiries in the meantime. It does me well to see you again, old friend. When next we meet, let it be over a flagon of ale. I look forward to it. Let us reminisce of bygone days, and drink to the future of our homeland. Flame General. You wear the mantle well, old friend. I must work hard if I'm to keep up. Well, it would seem your services were not required after all. I dare say we have Roban's prudence to thank for that. Still, I was glad of your presence. My thanks, Sion. E bom pessoal, vou finalizando o vídeo por aqui também, né? A missão ela é encerrada aqui, então possivelmente os nossos próximos objetivos vai ser relacionado a essa investigação em Udá. Se gostou, deixa o like, se inscreva no canal. Valeu, falou e até a próxima.